allegation that ronald reagan and george bush made a deal for the hostages to be kept until after the 1980 election were being investigated by journalist and author danny casolaro he said he had it he had some already and he was going to west virginia to meet the source who had given him that evidence this source was now he said going to supply additional conclusive proof. But Danny Casolaro never got to reveal either his source or the hard evidence he said was going to break the scandal wide open. On August the 10th, his body was found in this hotel room in West Virginia. His wrists had been slashed an incredible 12 times. Danny Casolaro's body was found naked in a pool of bloody water in the bathtub. All his papers were gone. Within hours, local police had declared the death a suicide. By Monday morning, by the time we found out, that is against the law in West Virginia. His body was embalmed without family consent. That certainly makes an autopsy a little more difficult. Tony Casolaro says his brother Danny, there you are. pictured here at a nephew's birthday, just wasn't the suicidal type. He was describing for me a few weeks before he died what he was doing and some of the people involved and he said uh, a lot of accidents had happened to people who were working on the things that he had been working on he said you know if an accident happens to me don't believe it my name is gary webb i am an investigative journalist i've been an investigative journalist for about 25 years for daily newspapers and in 1996, I wrote a series of stories entitled Dark Alliance, uh, which was about CIA involvement in drug What my story showed was that the cocaine that was being sold in those neighborhoods uh, was coming from mainly one source, and this one source was being used to finance a guerrilla war in, in Central America. We had gotten a story out around them, um, and we had gotten it out in a big way that they couldn't control, and that was the internet. And I think a lot of this was directed to the Mercury News to say, we don't care what documentation you have, we don't care what kind of story you've got, we set the national news agenda. And if we don't like your story, we will tell your story regardless of the truth. And deeply troubled that a very vague, emotionally stated, semi-theologically defined diagnosis of the central global menace is obscuring our national ability to comprehend the historically unprecedented challenge which is being posed in our time by a massive global political awakening and thus is obstructing our ability to deal effectively with the global political turmoil that this awakening is generating. So that their motive of um, why they would want to dumb down people is also highly practical. Remember, these people are very, very practical. They may be evil, but they're also very practical. 